there's one thing I want to talk about today that if you implement into your hitting approach could make a huge difference in the success that you have when you go up to bat. And I, a lot of young players, even all the way through high school, don't have this approach. And it's a two-strike approach. And let me tell you a little bit about the two-strike approach and how it can help you. And also I want to share with you a trick that you can use to have more success when you have two strikes on you as a batter. Because that's when we do the two-strike approach, right? We're going to get into our two-strike approach when we are 0-2, 1-2, 2-2, two even 3-2, and two, okay? Why do we want to have a two-strike approach? Because if we have two strikes, imagine what the pitcher is doing. Let's say, for example, specifically in an 0-2, 1-2 count. What is that pitcher trying to do? He's trying to throw a pitch that looks like a strike and then expands the zone and goes out of the zone. Why? Because as hitters, we're trying to protect or swing at anything close. I'm sure you hear your coach from the dugout, protect the plate, swing at anything close, you got two strikes, right? So that's a two strike approach. We need to protect, we need to swing at anything close. But how do we do this? There's a way, there's a few things that you can do to get better at having this two strike approach. The first thing is when we get into the batter's box, we wanna be up on the plate a little bit closer than normal. So normally if we're, let's say, right here on this line, right? Now that's not the batter's box line, let's just say that's where I'm normally at. In a two strike approach, I wanna be up closer to that plate, okay? So that's the first thing. Second thing is, I wanna be closer to the pitcher. So if I'm normally here, I wanna be a half a step closer to the pitcher. Why do we wanna be closer to the plate and closer to the pitcher? Because, like I said, they're gonna throw pitches that look like strikes and then expand the zone. Usually are going down and away from us. So if they're going down and away from us, the pitches, we wanna get closer to that pitch and closer to that pitch. So if that pitch is going down, we've got more ground to cover it. Same thing, if it's going away, we're closer to it, right? So that's the first two things we do. We get closer to the plate, closer to the pitcher. The next thing is we can shorten our stride, okay? So some guys like to widen up a little bit so that they don't have to stride as far. So if you're, you're here normally and you're striding to here, maybe you get already to that width and then you're just up and down, okay? But you wanna shorten it, you wanna be a little bit quicker. You don't wanna have so much movement. We wanna have less room from, for error. The more movement we have in our swing, the more room for error we're gonna have. So if we wanna have a protective swing, a defensive swing, then we wanna shorten up our stride, keep everything uh, a lot simpler to get the bat to the ball. Makes sense, right? So that's the third thing. The fourth thing is that you want to choke up. Now, some guys like to choke up on the bat. Other guys like to stay down. Some guys even like to get a little bit longer to get some length on the bat, okay? So I'm not gonna say this is a must. Choking up is not a must. Now, if you're a younger guy and it's kind of hard for you to swing that bat sometimes or you got a fast pitcher who's blowing smoke, then yeah, let's choke up. If you're handling your bat just fine and you want that extra extension, get all the way down at the bottom, okay? If you're that guy that likes to hang the two fingers off the bottom and get that whip in case he's got to get that fastball outside, then do that. Just know your grip. Know what you're trying to do. And use your grip accordingly, okay? So it doesn't have to be where you're normally at every time. You can change this in a two-strike approach. Now, let me give you a huge tip that's going to help you, and it's a little trick uh, that you can use to have more success in a two-strike approach. What you can do is you get in here with two strikes. Let's say it's 0-2, 1-2. and, two, one and two. You get in. You come here and you're watching the pitcher. This, the, the, the trick with this is that you have to have good timing with it, okay? What you're doing, you step in, you get ready to go, you're watching the pitcher. As he looks in, takes a sign, gives, uh-huh. As he comes set, you let him come set, and then right when he gets set, a split second after he gets set, you don't want him to pitch because then you blow, you blow it. But right before, right after he comes set, right before he pitches, you step out and call time. When you step out and call time, you're calling time and your face is at the umpire, but you're looking at where the catcher is. So now you're seeing where they're trying to pitch you. So you can tell if he's trying to come in, hard in with two strikes, or maybe he's going away. Now you know, so when you get back in there, you go, time, okay, you see him, act like, you know, you don't wanna be laughing and be like, ah, oh, I know you're pitching me outside. No, you wanna just play it off, time, okay, look back here. Go through your thing, get back in, closer to the plate, closer to the pitcher, a little bit wider stance, less stride, maybe choking up, maybe down, whatever it is. But now you know, okay, he's probably going outside and he's probably going to expand the zone. So now you know you might be able to take more pitches, take more balls, build up the count, or have better pitches to swing at. So that's how you have a two-strike approach. That's how you can play with it. That's one great trick 
uh, for stealing the pitch. Now, don't get caught doing that because you might get some chin music uh, the next pitch. And pitchers are aware of this, so, so be careful, all right? I hope you guys like this one. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you do for your two-strike approach or any tricks and tips that you use to have more success at the plate when hitting. Leave them comments down below so we can talk down there. Don't forget to subscribe. Click the logo over here. And then go check out some of these videos I got for you right over here. Talk to you guys down below.